DNA of, of any life. It is made of hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon, and using gematria, the numbers that equate to those become one, five, six, and three. Three is with the carbon. And when you then take a table, one of the ancient tables, and you're able to, to correlate those numbers with the letters, what we find, George, is that the human DNA is, is our is genome is, is built in, in layers. And at the top layers, it's like every book has an introduction. The introduction in every cell of every form of life, carbon-based DNA, uh -huh. the introduction is the same. And the first translation literally reads, literal, God eternal within the body. Hmm. God eternal within the body. And God that is depicted in DNA is actually spelled in the ancient text before it was removed 6,800 times. In the Torah, for example, the, the sacred name of God is believed to be so sacred it cannot be written in its entirety. Why put it in a code? So first, as a scientist, what I have to say is this. People say, why is the code there? Yeah. And I say, I don't know. All I know is that when I followed the instructions in a 3,000-year-old text and I applied it to the periodic table, this, there is, what, it was. this is what we have. Yeah. Next question, is it a coincidence? So there I are a, no coincidences. I had, well, I had you a statistician that. run the numbers for me, and the odds of this happening by chance are 1 to 234,256. Yeah. 234,256 to 1 are the odd, or 0.00041%. Mm -hmm. Right. 